Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. And we got this microphone that we found. And we got this microphone that we found in a storage unit, and this thing is awesome. It's got a nice little echo effect. We are here at our storage unit, as a matter of fact. So what's going on, everybody? That microphone is super dope. We got two of those things right there. And waiting on Jellico to get up here, he just went and got a $5 storage unit. That's crazy. My God, there's a lot of, a lot of spittle, a lot of spit on the lens. So we're waiting on Jellico to get here. He's bringing the remnants of a $5 storage unit. I think the best that he got out of that was a kitchen table and some chairs, as if we need another one of those. Folks, in the back of the box truck, there's that big old TV that we got out of a unit. I tried to test that TV, it blew up. We've also got this little kid chair, an ottoman, probably a somebody who sews type of a specialty item right there. That's going in the trash. We got a full-size mattress back there with some pee, pee stains on it. That's going in the trash as well. This rug is probably going to be used for the back of the box truck. I want to do a trash run, folks, because there's a lot of things that we are realizing things that we thought might be worth money turns out they either are broken worse than what we first saw or we just don't have the time to try to make these things sellable uh, we got some little cribs right here and what we've realized from this is that these are two different crib sets one of them is got most of the pieces the other one is missing some pieces these things are like a baby death trap we got a table right there another table right there and another table right there. Folks, we had four tables all together. We're about to have four tables again. But I actually just sold our best table yesterday. In fact, we've been making a lot of sales. Had this table originally listed for $250. Folks, it sold for 50 bucks with four chairs, with cushions on them. Today, I sold the two old record players that we found. Can't remember what unit we got those out of. Sold those for 20 bucks. Sold a small bench for $20 sold the big full-size bed set with the drawer that comes out sold that for 150 dollars had that originally listed for i think 250 and sold it for 150 a woman came and picked it up she had a tahoe i didn't think it was going to fit made it work we've also dug out some other items that we haven't had a chance to do anything with like this picture right here this is really nice look at that little abstract picasso right there there's a sticker price on the back of it for 60 bucks Maybe we can get 20 for it. We got a mirror right here that's really nice. This nice little archway type of a mirror. Haven't had a chance to post that. And I'm pretty sure inside of this box right here is another brand new mirror. A couple of pictures, small mirror, big mirror, bulletin board. Got this table right here. I thought this was gonna be a really nice table. I actually bought this from somebody with four chairs for $25. Did not realize it had this gigantic scratch in it and the frame way back there standing up in front of the bunk bed set uh, that thing's not in the greatest of condition regardless we've got a ton of stuff still left in this unit and we've still been selling a ton of stuff as well i'm averaging about a hundred dollars a day today i've already done ninety dollars just by myself uh the, the 150 dollars that we got for that bed set that split three ways between me jellico and jew man because uh, we got that from a move and i still got a computer sale potentially about to go later on today for 100 bucks a lot of people said i should have jumped on it when i when somebody offered to buy it for 120 i didn't so i lost out on that sale now i'm going to sell it for 100 hopefully i just got a message from a woman who wanted to get one of these twin size mattresses that we got but she decided to go buy a brand new one. I ain't mad at her for that. Folks, we've got tons of bunk bed sets. Pink, wood, dark wood, black back there in the background. Can you see that? And also gray. Jellico and I have been working very hard to try to get these bunk bed sets put together. I've been to Home Depot twice in an effort to try to get screws. And we just keep getting the wrong damn screws. We have yet to get one bunk bed set out of about the six that we have put together so that we can try to get them listed for sale. Hopefully, before long, we're gonna be able to do that. We're gonna load up some trash. Jellico's about to be here. He just texted me and let me know. I think he's bringing a new guy with him, a guy that I've never met before. You guys might be meeting him, and we're also gonna see what kind of items Jellico got from the storage unit that he just bought today at a live auction. And folks, he spent a whopping $5 
on this unit. All right, so Jellico just got here. What's going on, man? What's up, buddy? Pop the cherry today, man. Pop the cherry, buddy. Uh, okay. That didn't, <laughs> that didn't sound too good, but uh, what do you mean by that exactly? Man, I got my first unit today. So I hate to say that we're gonna be stage and storage units, but I guess that's what we're doing right here because these are the trophies that Jellico got out of the first storage unit. How much you spend? Five whole dollars, man. Five, five bucks. There was two units that people didn't even bid on. They said there was five. Two people rushed in and paid their unit up to date. So there, were, there ended up only being three. Uh, one had next to nothing, so one box and an old bed. I got it all recorded. I don't know if it's all good for film, but yeah. And there was one that was probably worth, but it went to 25 and it, it looked like a little bit of work. And I was just like, yeah. We ain't trying to do no work yeah. now. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to. And it, there was a lot of older things, you know? So. I had a talk with a guy that I, that I met there who's a fan of Ask Prison Show, actually, and... First of all, let's slow down a little bit. Uh, and let's throw this in here as well. You actually went and did the live storage auctions today. Yes. This is our first time doing them. I couldn't make it because I had to do some filming. Yeah. But, Jellico, how was this entire experience? It, it was a learning experience, man. Some of the people that were there at this one, particularly in Virginia Beach, they came with trailers. Some of them had thrift stores. They, they were about it, you know what I'm saying? But they wanted high-end stuff. You could tell not really necessarily high-end stuff, but they were looking for something in particular because when they would walk, they would just walk by and go, eh, and they were and they would keep going to the next unit or out the door home or wherever. So did they cut the lock and like pull the door up and you got to see it? Yeah. Did you get any footage of that? Yeah, I got a lot of footage of that in general, yeah. Okay, so real quick, what I want to do is I want to incorporate some of the footage that you filmed right now. Okay, there was, there's three. Someone went and come and paid their bill, so... The first one only had an empty box of Jordans, uh, old water bed that didn't have the water, a, a battery, and we're getting ready to check out the other one. All right, we are walking to the next unit. There's a lot of people. I say about 20 people all together. The other one wasn't worth fighting for. I almost got to just say, hey man, I bought a unit for the first time, Bob, my cherry. But you know how it is. Shoot, I ain't got money to blow like that. So let's see what's up with the next one. Let's see what we got here. bed frame some furniture a light there's a couple of chairs and a mattress looks in all right shit oh it's got a stain on it okay. apple watch case huh well something to fiddle with if somebody wants to play i'll say five five dollars chairs worth oh, five no, oh no okay <laughs> yay all right Yay! So, what's your first name? Brett. Okay, we're back. So, Jellico, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to film this experience. Uh huh. And yeah, you got your first unit. You got a five dollar unit, and what we're looking at right here is some of the stuff that you got out of that unit. Yeah, it's just like you know, it's just like everyone. This one was the you know we got was by the wood, so there was a lot of critters in this one, man. Like, but I mean, it's all wood, and there wasn't much of value. Like, I think we got a toilet. You know, the only things that were in the drawer, like the critters get a hold of the toilet paper. And, you know. I ain't got no toilet paper in my house. I actually need it. Yeah, we need to keep it here at the unit just because, you know, emergencies, you know. We ain't got Ooh, no wait a minute. Is that a birthday card? Uh, te uh oh, they were. Te amo. Te amo. They weren't. What's that mean? I love you? Uh, I don't te know. Te amo, baby. Yeah, I love you. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I'm not sure. This is the magic drawer I told you we f we found. I'm not sure if it, but we still have it on footage. But here we got I ain't no good man. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. There she is. There, what is it? There, right there, man. This is it's the toy drawer, man. The toy drawer. What do we got? Let's see. The, there you go. There you. Yeah, look, you actually Facetime me and show me this, and you were picking it up without no gloves on. So don't. No, nah, no, I was not, dude. Don't do that, man. I'm not hearing it. In hey, comments. look. There's the cap to whatever that little yeah, toy. Yeah. Here we go. Out like that so you can... Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and then you get the massage Durex. See, and the thing is, man, all these ones we find, they're always empty, man. These chicks are, man. They were getting it in. Yeah, but here, here you go. Here's the, 
Here's the, there you go, got another bullet, double-sided bullet. That one looks kind of high-end though, you know? You never know. But yeah, that's it, no more other goodies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh wait a minute, panties on, what the heck is this? They got the, uh, the, the <laughs> freaky Uno cards. Hold they, on, man. They made their own game. It ain't no draw four, it's take them drawers <laughs> off. What in the world what does this one say? Shirt off? Panty. What is it? Panties off, shirt off. <laughs> what does it say? Swap hands. Swap hands. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's one secret treasures. Intimate. Oh, where, where's that at? Uh, but yeah, that's uh, is that more. Hey, man. Look at that. What are the rest of the Uno cards? Right. I'm, I'm Look curious. at this. What is this? Is it a Hennessy dice? I mean, what, it, doesn't, it doesn't have anything. We saw it earlier. But Vizin, she probably smoked and uh, got her little groove on, I guess. But yeah, that's it. No, no goodies, but we got some change. What got... kind of glasses are those right there? <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer Janks. Well, you put. Good Lord. Well, that's all right, man. For $5, I mean. You, you, can't, you can't lose? Yeah, the two little cots, man. You can't lose over there. All right, so let's look at what Jellico got right here. He's got four chairs that go to another kitchen table. There is a big old burn in this kitchen table. Somebody was nodding out at the table, cigarette all up on the table. I just sold a table like this. I had it listed originally for $250. It sold for 50 bucks. So we know we, we can at least get $50 for the table. But this is, I think, one of the most interesting things Forget the uh, the dirty Uno cards. Check out these prison cots. <laughs> the prison cots, <laughs> right from Fortress City Jail. <laughs> oh, you got two of these things. Two twin size metal frame <laughs> cots. Yeah. Just look these up. These are on Walmart for $58 and some change. Easily get 20 bucks a piece for these, maybe 30, maybe 50 for both. Angelico, man, you did pretty good. Yeah, I got some toilet paper. I got the jumpsuit, man. Now, now if I get kicked out, I got a place to stay, man. I just put the jumpsuit and get the toilet paper and the, the soap, man. I got a place. It should be just like uh, being in the spread. Well, I want to show you my little toy. That This is something that we found in one of the storage units. Wow, so Check this out. You ready for this? We got two of these things. They both work. Check this out. You ready? All righty then. Let's get ready to play Dirty Uno. Take them panties off. Some of this ain't. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna use this when we're filming, and you can turn the echo off, so it's like. Uh, hello, we are live on location at a storage unit and facility that looks sort of like a prison complex. There's the camera right there that's always watching our every single move. This is Joe Guerrero with After Prison Show. Back to you, Bob. So, Jellico, you actually brought a, uh, a new guy over here today. Yeah, I got a new guy, man. It's a buddy, man. I actually, believe it or not, I, I met him in the spread many moons ago. Many, three, how many bids ago was it, buddy? Uh, probably five. <laughs> five, five, five. Five bids ago, man. Y'all might have seen it, uh, this picture up on uh, Facebook, uh, the fan page. I posted something. He, uh, struggling with the... Uh, uh, prison show. The law. <laughs> Struggling with the law? Yeah, he's got a little... Oh, law. you're right up our alley there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's so, your name, man? David Lloyd. And uh, what's your situation? Uh, drugs. Just getting involved in drugs and, uh, you know, it's always been a problem in my life, so I'm trying to fix that. I saw Jellico had posted a picture with you not too long ago on the After Prison Show fan page. Yeah, about I, four months ago. I don't know if you were struggling then or what the situation was, but you ended up getting locked up, is that correct? Yes, sir. You know, how long did you have to spend um, locked up? At that point, I was I was messing up. Uh, I was trying to on the teeter, trying to get myself together, and uh, you know, struggling with the uh, addiction. Uh, I ended up doing about three months, right, very shortly after that. Um, and I, right now, I'm actually out on bond, <laughs> uh, trying to stay out of trouble. And uh, I got a new a baby on the way, so I'm trying to get myself together to take care of that, make sure everything's good. It's actually at the halfway house where you picked me up where you met me for the first time, the same exact house. I'm not sure if y'all remember, the very first video oh, okay. you made of me when you, you said, hey, you introduced me. He's at the same exact one, man. Jellico is actually part of the reason why I actually got Bond and got out and got to the halfway house. He gave me the information I needed to get there and 
Oh boy, see, woo! Resources. Boy, I, I, know. Resources. I thought you was about to be like, yeah, you know, Jellico gave me the information, and you know, <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, man, you got out, you're out here on bond, you're staying at the halfway house. You know, what's different this time than the last time or any other time? Um, funny story is, uh, in the midst of me getting locked up, I actually broke my jaw. Uh, and I got a concussion from it, and I like to think that that little bump on the head kind of knocked some sense into me. Uh, my mind is a lot clearer now. Uh, I'm focused on what I need to do and get myself together, man, and staying the hell out of, out of trouble. Well, Jellico had told me about you yesterday. He said he was going to be bringing you along. You know, if you're trying to do the right thing, I don't do nothing but support that and respect that. You know, how old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old. I'm sure you've been in trouble, you know. Most of my life. You sound like all of us. Yeah. And you sound like, you know, this time you want to do the right thing. You're out on bond. Are you, like, what's the situation with that? Are you facing time? You got to go to prison? They, they bonded me out to go to the halfway house, which is like a, a drug program. Uh, so I have, to, I have to be good and, and stay clean and do the program. Then I go back to court December 2nd to, for actual trial or sentencing. And the whole thing is, you know, that uh, hopefully that the staying good and in the program, doing good with probation, I'll be... It'll help me out with my sentencing to get a lower sentence. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen because I got I had to plead guilty in order to get the bond and to do the program and help myself out. I had to plead guilty to my charges, which was kind of part of the the plea. One of the charges is assaulting a police officer, and at minimum, it's a mandatory minimum of six months. I've already done three months. Uh, worst case scenario, I got three more, three more months to do. But I mean, I'll do that. Staying, I'll do that upside down, knowing that I'll be coming home to everything together, and you know what I mean, having everything taken care of by the time I get out. You know, people are gonna hear the fact that you assaulted a police officer. They ain't gonna like that at all. I'm sure that's a situation you regret. Yeah, absolutely. Look, man, you seem like uh, you seem like a dude who just wants to get another chance, and you got this chance now. Yeah. You're rocking with Jellico. Jellico's a positive dude. Yeah, we went to a meeting last night. You know, you know. Y'all went to a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. We went to a meeting, so he's got. We gotta take that avenue. You know, try a new avenue. Everything's new, so learning process yep well look man i appreciate you introducing yourself i appreciate you rocking with the after prison show and hopefully this can be a positive beacon in your life in any kind of facet or way to help you stay the course that you want to stay absolutely i, I appreciate you uh you know introducing me and uh, it's it nice to finally meet you i heard a lot about you man so uh i'm excited man heck yeah all right so that's dave or david david, david. boy we know a lot Everybody. We know a lot of Davids and Dave. Lloyd. Lloyd, you can go and call him Lloyd. Okay, we're gonna call him Lloyd. Like from Dumb and Dumber. Yep. <laughs> no disrespect, but that is one of my favorite movies. That's the only reason I picked up on that name. So look, uh, we got a chance to meet one of Jellica's homeboys and a guy who's struggled just like we all have struggled. And you know, hopefully we're gonna be seeing more of this guy and hopefully we'll be able to chronicle a little bit about what's going on with him as he stay, as he tries to stay on the right track and hopefully that's what he's gonna be able to do. But every day here, it is straight grind time. And no matter what we got going on, we're always trying to do the very most. angelico has been busting his ass. I've been busting mine. We haven't even had a chance to see Jew Man in a little while. Special shout out to Jew Man. We're gonna get with him very soon. It's just been a little slow as of late with the fact that we haven't been having any moving work but I'm confident things are gonna pick up. We got a cooking video on the way with Jew Man. That is definitely gonna be coming soon. And with all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're gonna get some trash loaded up into the truck. We're gonna take that to the dump, get some other items posted that we need to get posted and try to figure out what we're gonna do with all this stuff that Jellico got out of his first $5 storage unit. Yeah! Or as Jellico likes to say, he, uh, he got his cherry broke today. <laughs> that just... <laughs> that just does not sound good at all. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one loss, no one's around for you. I won't stop. I won't stop. I